Hey, what's up, guys? Footy Manager TV here. This is episode four of my Southampton career. Of course, season two. Our first competitive match just about to get underway in the Community Shield final against Tottenham. Of course, they came first last season. And I advise you, if you're like new to this series, yeah, I like advise you to watch from the very, very start. I always leave the series playlist in the description. So, yeah, hopefully, go out and check out everything that happened in this series. But I am looking to make my videos better as they keep going on. Uh, so, yeah, I have, I know some videos throughout the series. I just was getting bored with the game and stuff, so some of the episodes may have been, like, my commentary might not be great, but I'll be just really looking uh, to commentate on the actual episodes and not, like, my outside thoughts on anything else apart from the video. But, yeah, anyway, Gaston Ramirez, uh, he was a bit mad that I thought I was going to play someone ahead of him. Uh, that was just because, um, yeah, I was messing around in the friendlies, giving younger players appearances, and here contracts... And Nathaniel Klein, actually, he seems to not want to renew his contract. But the thing is, uh, it's about three years left. And I'm probably not going to reach that within uh, by the time FIFA 14 comes around. Maybe two seasons, but not three seasons more. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. If he doesn't want to renew his contract, I'll just leave it like that. But he's still going to be playing and increasing to a very good player for me. So I'm probably not even going to worry about that because... Like I said, I'm probably not going to reach that far into the game. Like, finish three more seasons. So, I shouldn't be worrying about that right now. Uh, the real... the When I should be worrying about it is maybe a next season a little bit. We'll just see what happens. But who knows? Eventually, he might come to his senses. But to me, that's not realistic. Because he's a younger player. And as a team, Southampton, we won the FA Cup. Now we're into the European competition in the Europa League. I would say uh, this is a perfect... Platform him, the platform for him to keep increasing, and yeah, a lot of my team are like that. They're very young and increasing players. Roberto Abres SA again uh, just got him for from the youth team. Uh, he's 61 overall now, already cr increased by one, and he's got that five star week four. We've got heaps of those prospects. Dongu Safak as well, only 18 and 67 overall, heaps of pace. Then Mallorca still only 22. That's still fairly young. There's still heaps of years in him, and he can still improve you know last season he was fantastic and if he can build on that form uh, we start with the same formation this season but as the season kind of goes on I change to a 4-3-3 I want to start to play like Barcelona and hopefully that will uh, make the career even more interesting uh, for another reason I want to uh, get quite a few um, like interest like things happening in the career that people will be interested in like I was thinking about to make it a bit advanced and I think I'm um, of course, some people might like that, but then um, it could take a lot of effort and there wouldn't be very regular videos and uh, people might think I'm overdoing it and that kind of thing, like training, and some people don't like it because it's not actual training, like they can't actually do it. And yeah, but anyway, I'll move on to our first match of the season. And like I said in the Community Shield, uh, I would just want to play some younger players to get experience. As you see here, they get an early chance and they get a goal from Gareth Bale in the fifth minute. And, yeah, he spins around there, then he gets back up and celebrates. No doubt he's a fantastic player. And he's just going to uh, keep improving because he's still a young player in the game. And no doubt he'll be amazing signing if you can sign him. Probably the best left winger in the game, no doubt, and not bad defensively. And Adebayor, they could have really almost made it very hard there. He had two chances, but luckily for me and the team, he couldn't score. But here, Nathaniel Klein, one reason I want to keep him. Look at that. Gets past the defender very well. Puts a nice cross in for a brass essay, and he scores right there on his competitive debut for us. Uh, not really sure what more I could ask for him. Uh, him and Vinci, uh, they're two very good Italian prospects for us. And also, they're very strong. As you can see, He's a very he's got a good frame about him. But of course... And Lewis Holtby scores uh, just before the break. And you'll see here again, is that... No, nah, that's... Yeah, not... I was talking to talk about a different situation that might be happening later. Uh, like, you know when I get a goal, or when they get a goal, it always rebounds off my keeper, like they pass it to him, but that may be a d different situation. Of course, uh, we have a chance there, but it was not to be on that occasion. Paradise, again, I'll be looking... Like I said, I'll be looking to build in that 4-3-3 formation as we have heaps of chances here, but you know, it always rebounds against the defenders. And yeah, that's the thing. I want to mold Leandro Paradis into the next Messi uh, because, like I said, I'm going to play in that 4-3-3 with the false nine as a center forward. I'll bring him to that position and I really got to mold my other players 
around that. Even though we have strikers are looking to play the pacey strikers out wide, uh, like Mayuka, he can play left wing and right wing. Dongu Safak can't uh, doesn't have right wing or left wing as a position, but uh, he's got the good attributes for like he doesn't have good technical attributes apart from really his shot power. But he's got good pace and strength. So so really, I could utilize that if I really wanted to. And yeah, I think that's the way to go. And yeah, focus on my players' passing abilities, and hopefully we can improve them, and they'll be very good. Again, going ultra attacking, but. Um, yeah, it wasn't really going to happen. You know that always happens, uh, uh, especially for me. Like, right at the end of the matches, yeah, it's really hard. And they win the Community Shield, but uh, we did well just to get in that. And Nathaniel Klein, man of the match, of course. Uh, he's a fantastic player and <laughs> really... Um, of course, I can say I'm disappointed for him to not renew his contract. But if he wants, like he says, if he just wants to wait till it runs out, it's in. It's like the end of uh, three seasons away. So I'm not going to worry about that pretty much. Uh, Gaston Ramirez as well. There's going to be some transfer news on him or Nathaniel Klein as well. Either one of those two is going to be leaving the club. Nathaniel Klein uh, or Gaston Ramirez, they're going to be leaving to one big club. But yeah, yeah. Uh, and I've been uh, building it up for quite some time, and it's not going to be far away. They're going to be leaving just before the gen or this transfer window ends, and yeah, it's going to be disaster for us. Maybe uh, we've got to see if we can have enough time to actually sign someone else. But uh, we have a big squad already, so uh, we got some other fullbacks, some good signings. We started, uh, we signed uh, Vilsvike, also Giuseppe Vinci. Like I said on him, uh, he's another player uh, very similar to Brus Sa. He's a strong player and he's got pace. You'll see. Like he's when you see him in the match, he seems very physical. He's very tall, and his body strength you can really notice it in matches. So uh, those two are going to be beasts, and I'm just going to keep uh, playing them, and they're going to improve. And uh, attack is just going to keep improving. Uh, if we somehow lose Gaston Ramirez, uh, we're going to have to replace him. But to me, Gaston Ramirez uh, last season he was of course amazing, but. Um, I wasn't that impressed with him. Like I don't know, he wasn't convincing, but he did seem to score the goals. But here, uh, this guy from Aston Villa, Jordan Bauer, who's got insane pace and strength also. Uh, he's someone very cheap who I look to sign just for free. No, well, not free, like for a really cheap price. And if I can do that, of course, he's got the good physical attributes with strength and pace. But also, uh, he's still fairly young, 22 again. So if he can improve his technical attributes, can be very good. And here, I'm just showing you some guys that have good, very like good pace and strength into the future. So you can just check them out and, and buy them for yourself. Obviously, they're not really high overall, but they improve. But again, uh, looking for someone who's strength, uh, who has strength and a bit of pace. Not heaps of pace, but as a defensive mid, you don't need heaps. Uh, this guy could definitely potentially be the next Yaya Toure. Obviously, he's from Brazil, though, but he's a very good defensive mid. He's very strong and good stamina. And, yeah, he could run all day. And not bad agility, which is very good. And he's a good passer. He's very solid technically. He's got heaps of attributes in the yellow. And, here yeah, he's going to be a fantastic player for us, Renato Nato uh, from Sporting. So hopefully can accept and all of that. Nathaniel Klein, like I said, I'm just going to leave him. Like If he just wants to wait till his contract runs out, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it for three seasons. And like I said, I'm probably not even going to get to that stage. And yeah, we've got Newcastle in our first league match. So uh, I'll be looking to get off to a good start in the league. The league is very important to me. So yeah, like I said, last season in the league, we came 14th. But this year in the league, I'm probably going to look to uh, at least a top 10 finish. And that's good. And I want to look to at least qualify the for the Europa League uh, by league position, not the FA Cup. And Paolo Gazzaniga, a 66 overall is not good enough. And I know some people might say his potential or something, but the thing is, his best goalkeeping attribute is his kicking. His kicking is higher than any other attribute, and yeah, um, that has nothing to do with actually saving the goal. So I think I'll be looking for another signing as a goalkeeper. You got to wait for that as well. Jordan Barry accepting. Uh, he could be good off the bench with his pace also. Uh, to play out wide, like the, in the new 4 3 that I'll, or 4 3 3 that I'll be introducing, uh, he'll be very good on the wings coming in. He's got the strength, so he won't get pushed off the ball. So, um, yeah, if he can just get the crosses into the striker, uh, he could be a good player for us, or even as a striker, um, but obviously not as a center forward. Uh, he hasn't got great technical attributes, but yeah, we've got to work with him and hopefully can improve. Maybe send him out on loan and maybe he can have a good season and return as a super player with very good technical attributes. Who knows what may happen? But like I said, we've got Newcastle United coming up. Hopefully, get off to a very promising start. That will be fantastic and ideal, all of that stuff. Uh, the chief executive said, yep, Paolo Gazzaniga sold to Birmingham City. A 1 million. I'll take that for a 66-rated player any day. And Poland, 
yeah, I, I'm not really interested in international management in this career, especially I want to get uh, at least three seasons or so done. I want to get as much as I can done uh, at least like, until we get to FIFA 14. I know I'm saying FIFA 14, but I just thought about it. It's still way away. Uh, but when I see the features and all of that and E3 uh, very early in June coming up, so uh, I may, once features are released, I'm not sure what's going to happen then. Uh, but I'm, g- I'm going to keep trying to do FIFA 13 videos, but uh, sometimes I lose motivation because I know how good the next game is going to be, especially in career mode. There's going to be so much stuff. And Ultimate Team, um, I hear this big news to come with Ultimate Team. So I'm excited for that. Going to have big Ultimate Team series uh, in FIFA 14, also along with a big career mode with Barcelona starting off. Excited to play with Neymar and Messi in the same team. That's going to be good. And maybe new centre-back to replace, uh, replace Puyol. But that's it for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.